Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I am very excited to share with you this new version of Intern VL model which has just been released. This new version, Intern VL3, is an advanced multimodal large language model designed to significantly elevate the state of the art in vision, language reasoning and perception. Building upon its predecessor, Intern VL2.5, which we already have covered on the channel four months ago, as you can see, among other models from the same provider. This new one broadens its functional scope to include tool use, GUI agent operations, industrial image analysis, and 3D vision perception. They have also shared a lot of benchmarks, which look really, really good. At its core, this in turn, VL3 adopts the well-established WIT MLP LLM architectural paradigm as it leverages an incrementally pre-trained vision transformer integrated with various large language models such as Intern LM3 and Quen 2.5 linked via a randomly initialized multi-layer perceptron MLP projector. There are a lot of other things which I could go on and on and I will be mentioning them as we go along in this video but I don't want to bore you with just theory. We are going to get this model installed. Now another cool thing is that there are various flavors of it. There is a 1 billion one I believe, there is 8 billion, there is 14 billion, there is 32 billion and I believe there is also 2 billion, 1 billion and a lot of flavors are available so even 72 billion uh, 78 billion sorry so you can just uh, have fun with it but one thing which i also noticed in previous version of this model is that it is quite gpu hungry so whether it is isn't done vl 1.5 or previous version the 2.5 make sure that you have plenty of gpu and i have this ubuntu vm and my gpu card is nvidia H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. So if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So I'm going to use their GPU. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda. And then we are going to install this new Intern VL3 and we are going to see how exactly it is working. Now, I'm going to install the latest version of Transformers. So let me go there and install it. Make sure that if you already have a Torch and Torch Vision and Transformer installed, it is the updated version. While it installs, let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so while that gets installed, let's talk a bit more about this model. Now, there are a lot of key improvements in this new version. For example, it introduces variable visual position encoding or V2PE, which grants greater flexibility and efficiency in encoding visual inputs and thereby it helps the model better manage long context visual information compared to its predecessor. There is another very distinct aspect of this new model, which is its native multimodal pre-training approach. So unlike traditional methods that separately pre-train a language model before aligning it with vision, this in turn real 3 merges vision and language from the very beginning. It interleaves image text, video text and pure text data in a single pre-training state and I will show you all three of these in test after I get it installed locally. And this unified approach facilitates the model's ability to capture complex cross-modal relationships which eliminates the need for additional alignment modules and improving performance on visual language tasks. Also, during the supervised fine tuning, this intern VL3 benefits from a more diverse and higher quality data set, especially targeting tool use, GUI interaction, 3D understanding, and a lot of other things. Last bit, to optimize reasoning quality, this new model utilizes mixed preference optimization or MPO which is a technique that addresses the inconsistency between training and inference. Okay, so now we know a lot about this model. 
so let's go back and check so everything installed let me clear the screen and let me launch my jupyter notebook okay so first up let's download the model and i'm going to go with the 1 billion one if you want you can go with 2 billion 8 billion 9 billion 14 38 and 78 billion architecture of all of these models is same the only difference is that just in 14 billion uh, sorry just in 9 billion they are using intern lm3 for the language part for the rest of the lot they are using quen 2.5 i'm just going to go with this first one 1 billion one all the installation everything would be same okay so let's run this so model is being downloaded as you can see there is only one shard which is good just under 2 gig of size how good is that let's wait so the model is downloaded for the inference the good thing is that they have provided us some of the functions which do the pre-processing so let me just scroll up and explain what is happening so we are importing the libraries which we have just installed then we are defining this build transform function so this function creates an image transformation pipeline that converts image to rgb resizes them normalizes according to image net means and standard deviations which we have defined above as per data set and then converts them to the tensor which is understandable for the model so basically it ensures consistent pre-processing suitable for model input then we have this find closest aspect ratio function this finds the target aspect ratio from a list that most closely matches the input image aspect ratio with some areas based type tracking this helps in determining how to optimally split or resize images during pre-processing before presenting it to the model then we have dynamic pre-process function this resizes the image to a calculated optimal aspect ratio then crops the resized image into blocks of equal size based on the chosen aspect ratio it also optionally adds a thumbnail and returns a list of split images for better handling non-scare images and variable sizes and then if i scroll down you will see we have a load image which is self-explanatory as it loads an image file applies a transformation pipeline and dynamic pre-processing which we defined above stacks the resulting tensors and returns them as a batch and it prepares a list of pre-processed image tensors for model input then we have split model this distributes model layers and components across available gpus to enable model parallelism taking into account the need for special allocation of wit or vision transformer components as you can see here so pr primarily it is returning a device map dictionary to assign each part of the model to specific gpu device for efficient multi gpu usage if you have just one gpu it is going to recognize them and use it so let me run it it is just going to create these functions and now let's do the inference first up i am going to show you the pure text modality for that we need to provide this generation config that is a requirement of this model as you can see so i already have pasted it above here sorry here so this is a generation config which specifies the hyper parameters i'm going to use this image for but for the next one for this one i'm just going to ask it a greeting and then model is generating the output so let's run it to see what happens let's wait there you go so it is saying that uh, i'm saying hello who who are you and it says hello i am an ai assistant whose name is intern wheel developed by this lab i was trained on a wide range of text to help with so it is introducing itself now fun fact and i'm not exaggerating uh, I also asked it previously and you won't believe it says I am chat GPT. I wish I could show it to you again. It's not showing me anyway. So you have to take my word for it. Anyway, so let's do the image one. In the multimodality, I'm just giving it this image tag and I'm asking it, please describe the image shortly. And we already have done this image in this pixel and put it in our gpu so let me run this and the image which i'm going to check is this i'm just providing it a local image with a bare picture 
and there you go so it has come back with the answer that a brown bear is standing in shallow water with its mouth open looking around the bear appears wet and its fur looks slightly matted from the environment the surrounding area is a forest with green leaves pretty good not bad at all really okay let's try out few more and then uh, at, i will also show you one example with a video okay so let's do few more images next up i'm asking it uh, that what's the time on the clock let's run this and let's also check the vram consumption in real time so it is consuming 2.6 k around 2.6 k of vram which is not that bad i would say for this model and the time on the clock is also perfectly correct okay let's do some of the ocr now now for the OCR, what I'm going to do, I have this directory where I have various images for different languages from Arabic to Chinese to Korean to Spanish to Swahili, Urdu, Hindi and lot of other languages, some handwritten, some ruins and lot of other things. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to ask this model to go through all of these and then give me the text out of these images and also identify the language and i also have a handwritten one so let me try this one out so i have just written this custom code so this is my local directory where all the images are and i am asking it extract the text from the image and identify the language and then i'm just looping through that directory and with matplotlib displaying the image and the extracted text. so let me run this i will show you in real time so there you go so this is the handwritten one there you go so it has you see this is a image which i have given it and this is the extracted test so even when the image is bit cut it was able to do that how good is that and it says the language appears to be handwritten english wow this is the beauty of intern vl3 and then okay so sorry i'll just go up it is still running i believe Okay, so i'll just scroll down slowly because it is printing a lot of stuff so there you go so this is uh arabic and i'm just checking if it there you go so it says the text from image is written in arabic this is a complete arabic text i don't think so i did it right i don't think so nope and then okay so so it is not displaying that properly my apologies okay I think there is also some font issue happening so what i'll do instead of like doing like this i don't think so it is multilingual but i will randomly maybe do a couple of them so i'll just stop it from here and then i'll go up and maybe i will try it out with a couple of images i don't think so it, it is multilingual by the way i have checked the uh, arabic and uh, spanish so you see it was able to identify the language that it is spanish but it was unable to extract the text and same is the case with various other languages so works for chinese and english at the moment no worries let's uh, and by the way if it is english handwritten works very nicely as we just saw so ocr is just bilingual let's try out some uh, chart or table so next up i'm going to give it this chart where we are comparing um, the nvidia gpu cards 5090 and 1490 on some of the games and i'm asking it analyze the chart and describe which product is better so it has just given me the response so it is saying these are the title and label which is correct it compares two 1490 models not really uh, black myth and this okay that is good yes and then these are the axes and units this is 30 33 which is i would say this 30 and 33 that is right and then details bars in green and yellow so this is slight yellow um, it is talking about rough assumption based on this so pretty nice it says a 30 percent improvement uh, improvement over this 27 percent improvement and then it is that this is analysis that which one is better so you can see that it has wonderfully well so it can not only uh, identify the charts it can also do the analysis pretty fine and also it has given us a conclusion 
so that is where it is combining the intelligence of Quen 2.5 with its own vision which is quite good really impressive next up we are testing this tabular data and this is just a pharmacy journals and i'm asking it which journal has lowest monthly circulation so the circulation is in the comments number of uh, circulation of the journal is in this second column so let's run it to see what it does uh, sorry i just missed uh, the full directory name my apologies sorry i'll just i'm just mixing those ones so i'll just run it in front of you there you go so let's wait and there you go it has given us the response here so you can see it is uh, analyzing and it says american drugist i think this one is wrong because if i look here this is a drugist but it has done those here wrong here what about numbers number is correct okay anyway so it is just anal analyzing is which is good it is going through everyone and then if you see the so monthly lowest circulation is this pharmacy times it says that drug topic journal seems to be better than all particularly due to its monthly readership i think it is way off so instead of giving me the answer it has done the analysis of this whole stuff but you know what i think this is my mistake my apology i think i'm just too tired today uh I gave this prompt in the previous cell instead of here. So I'll just admit this in front of whole world. I am just going to change this. Okay, now I have changed it, but still the fact remains that this was wrong. Anyway, let's see if it is able to tell me the answer which I'm looking for. There you go. It says a journal with the lowest monthly circulation is the consultant pharmacist. Let's check it out that's correct there you go very nice and the spellings are also quite good so look very impressive in charts in tabular formats OCR is also quite good with some mistakes not perfect but remember this is just a 1 billion version uh, just imagine the 78 billion one and for the video inference all you need to do is to use this code which is present on their hugging face card and I will drop the link to it in videos description all you need to do is to just give it the video path on your local system and ask the questions so i'm asking it what is cat doing this is an ai generated video which i did some time back so just a weird cat don't judge the cat just on the top of a hill and doing some antics and this is what i'm going to ask it just describe it so let's run this thing and the model has come back with the response there you go so it says in this series of images a fluffy striped cat is seen striking playful and animated poses atop a rock with a scenic mountain backdrop which is correct that is what the cat did if you remember and then it, it is cur curious it is confident its expressive face and upright posture give the impression that it is performing or dancing enjoying the fresh air and panoramic views the overall scene captures a moment of spirit and energy highlighting the cat's agility and charismatic personality so look i think fabulous response very impressive model let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching